What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to download and install the new VirtualBox 7.0. Uh, VirtualBox 7.0 just came out recently. Uh, it looks like, let's see, October 20th. So that's pretty early on and um, thought it'd be a good idea to update the how-to video. So before we get started, if you're watching this video, chances are you're not subscribed because 99% of you are not subscribed. And that's a pretty bad number. So if you like this video, be sure to click on that sub or thanks button below. Very much appreciated. And let's jump right into the video. Uh, we want to go to virtualbox.org and click on this big, obviously download VirtualBox 7.0 icon. Once we click on the icon, we're going to choose which platform we are on. So I'm on Windows, so I'm going to download the Windows host, but you're going to want to download the host from whatever OS you're going to be running it on. So if you're on a Mac, you might want to use this one specifically. If you're on Linux, you want to use Linux distributions. I'm going to click on Windows. And then once you click on Windows, it's going to download. We we'll Go ahead and click on the uh, downloaded file down here. Uh, there's going to be a user account control window that comes up. It says, do you want to allow it to make changes to your device? You want to click yes. And then we're going to get to the installer itself. Let's go ahead and click on next. And these are all the options that we can install. VirtualBox USB support, networking, bridge networking, host only networking. This is so you can get internet into your um, virtual device. And if you plug uh, something into your computer, your virtual device can access it with, as long as you enable that in the settings, such as a USB webcam, for example. And then VirtualBox Python support, that's for added scripting on the side. Um, if you're installing VirtualBox with the intent of, uh, and this is a very specific use case, but I've seen it asked a lot on my channel, with the intent of trying out viruses, um, and you actually want to see how viruses run, definitely don't install the networking and USB support. Um, don't enable any of the settings that allow you to share between the host device and the um, client device, because that's how viruses can escape a virtual machine and get on your PC. So just as a FYI, that's one added security measure. But if you just plan to use this as your actual you know, virtual machine, and you want to install Windows or Linux or something like that, and you want easy access to all your files, and, you know, being able to copy on one Windows system and then paste into a Mac system, for example, or something, um, then you want to keep all this enabled. And then we'll click on Next. And then uh, we're going to install the network interfaces. This will um, temporarily disconnect you from the internet and reset all of your network um, uh, options as it installs a new device, and then it's going to connect you back to normal. Um, go ahead and click on yes, and um, we can click on yes here as well for any of the dependencies, and click on install. The installer shouldn't take too long. It's not a huge um, file or anything like that, but there are a lot of services and um, drivers to install. So uh, there may be a few menus that pop up and say click yes, but beyond that, um, it should go fairly quickly. All right, so it looks like it's finished and we can say start Oracle VM after installation. Go ahead and click on finish and the application will open. Here it is. And we see we have a new theme as well. It's a nice dark theme. That's very cool. And it even found my old um, virtual machine here as well. So it will find your old ones from 6.0. So that's nice to know. Uh, but yeah, there's VirtualBox Manager 7.0. In the next video, I will be showing you how to install uh, Linux on this as well as Windows. So stay tuned for that. And if there's a specific OS you want to see installed, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Peace. Conversations to games to end up used with a broader view. He keeps it fresh, always brings something new. It's Mike the Tech, Mike the Tech, huh? Mike the Tech, the architect, huh? Mike the Tech, Mike the Tech, yeah. Mike the Tech, the architect, huh?